Obviously, it's not just with robots or fictional characters. We empathize more with people we assume are more like us, and that might not be accurate. So in episode 20, I talked about neuroimaging experiments in my lab where we put people into the brain scanner and we showed them six hands, and one of the hands gets selected by the computer, and you see that hand get stabbed with a syringe needle. This activates a network in your brain that we summarize as the pain matrix. And as I mentioned before, this is the neural basis of empathy. You're having this fireworks show in your brain light up, even though it wasn't your hand that got stabbed. You're just watching someone else's hand, and yet you are simulating the pain involved. But here's the key thing. We then labeled each hand with a one-word label. Christian, Jewish, Muslim, Scientologist, Atheist, Hindu, and now the computer picks the hands one at a time and you see them get stabbed with the syringe needle. And the question is, do you care as much if it's any of the members of your outgroup versus the label of your in-group? So we studied 105 people on this and the answer was clear. Your brain has a large empathic response when you see the hand with your group label get stabbed. And it just doesn't muster the same degree of response when it's anyone else getting stabbed. And this was equally true across all the groups, including the atheists, who cared more when they saw the atheist hand get stabbed. So, in earlier episodes, I talked all about the meaning of this from a societal point of view. But for today, I want to emphasize that whatever your religion is or your non-religion, there are literally millions or billions of people who belong to that label too with you. And they are all as different as can be. And the spread is enormous. And so the idea that you would care for those millions of people more than other millions of people suggests, again, that your empathy is not so much about climbing into someone else's head, but instead about imposing your model onto the external world. <laughs>